Okay, I'm well and truly into this build now. You can see I've got this thing tore up. <clears throat> I, uh, well, I got the bars on, the new clamps. Tell you what though, um, no way you're getting the stock grip off of that throttle assembly, so I'm gonna just get a new, um, a new throttle assembly or a new, uh, at least this, this part here, right? So there's no way that that grip was coming off of there. <laughs> there's no way. So I'm just gonna order a new one. Um, actually, there's a really good gold anodized um, pro taper uh, throttle that I'm gonna order. Uh, so that'll take care of that. But you can see, you know, like this bike is tore up. You can tell it's brand new too. Look at the top of the piston. It's like there's no carbon at all on it and it has been run they started it up and ran it at the shop um, but this is a brand new bike I got the new hoses on although I got the uh, top one still to do so I want to talk about this VHM head so this is the cylinder head I ordered right I ordered this from Langston Racing and the cylinder head Obviously, here's the stock one. Stock cylinder head. Um, this is the same part number for the KX85, the KX100, and the KX112. And this model number, or part number, goes back years and years. So that's what it looks like right there. Alright, to be replaced. Let me turn this so I can see it really good here. I want a good comparison of these two. Because it's a bit of a risk, right? You order a part number, it should be identical. And you know what? It it looks like it is. I mean so this is the super cross insert that I've got in here. Alright, but you can see, I mean the water jackets seem to line up. Everything seems to line up correctly. Now these little pins back here those came out of the stock cylinder head, the little alignment pins. They go in here and here. So those little alignment pins go in there. I took them off of this one. But I would say they're identical right now. As far as the craftsmanship goes, though, <laughs> there's like there's no comparison. You can see this this is way, way different. And the and the cylinder head itself, I mean the, the insert here. I mean that's that's quite a bit of different shape, um, but yeah, I'm hoping that you know there's no issues there now. You can see the O-rings. There's this this O-ring here and this O-ring here. Um, the stalker doesn't have an O-ring, right? So what happens here is, and I, and I contacted VHM about this and asked them specifically. So this gasket right here is eliminated so I no longer need this this is going away for good all right and again you can see this is a brand new bike all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the new one. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and get all that coolant off of there and uh, make sure that those o-rings sit nice and tight but this this gets eliminated it's gone so anyway that's where I'm at um, I got a little bit of work to do on the carb and I gotta put that boys and rad valve on and all that but for the most part I'm, I'm right into the uh, the cylinder head now and uh, this is a thing of beauty <laughs> compared to what it's replacing I mean heck look at this thing and even replaces, you know, it even has uh, nuts and washers. These are the stalker nuts, and the other ones are domed with a copper washer. It comes with it. Um, the water jackets are also supposed to be, let's see, the water jackets are supposed to be way bigger, and it's just a thicker overall head. You can see how wide these water jackets are compared to the stalker, all right? So, uh, you know, that should run cooler. But anyway, I'm getting ready to put this on. And uh, it's going to be uh, probably one of the more uh, 
interesting pieces of this whole thing so anyway this is the VHM cylinder head as ordered from Langston Racing so we'll see how it goes